Well, this brings us to the final wrap-up lesson on living golf, playing from the heart of the game. And that's what this lesson is going to be about. Once we understand where true power comes from, and those are all the things I've gone through in this series of lessons, starting with consciousness, and the consciousness that we have to install in process orientation, and the subconscious then, in the second lesson, going to subconscious acceptance of what that process is and being able to execute. Then we, we tap into our intuitive sensibility, the power of intuition, which allows us to create a mindset, mindset to fulfill our desire. But if our desire becomes too strong, our intentions overcome our intuition and we short circuit. And when that happens, you're going to swing too hard, you're going to try to steer the ball, you're going to manipulate the ball one way or another. That can't happen. Once we get there through expectation, okay, we start to have this feeling of confidence. As the expectation continu continues, we get to a sense of understanding the perspective that we can put on the play we're about to make. Perspective then goes to the charging of our emotional content. It turns out that research has clearly shown that we are driven more by emotion and emotional satisfaction than we are by intellectual pursuit. So when we tap into that emotional response, we start to get a true perception of what it, what it is that we're trying to achieve. Then we can install the final one, belief. We can start to believe that we can rather than question whether we can or can't. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this hole. I'm going to play golf, putting my mind in the right place, mind, body, and spirit connecting, and learn to play the game. This game can give you ultimate satisfaction. You can get ah moments like you've never had before. You can also get overcome certain aspects of the human condition, fear, anxiety, frustration, and go out and remember you're in a recreational activity. Unless you're training to go on the pro tour, you are in a recreational activity. I love that word, recreation. Recreate. Recreate the human spirit by learning how to play golf from your heart rather than from your head and body. Such an important thing for me to carry through to you and that you can work with. Return to these videos again and again. They're going to give you more power than any gym can in structure of muscle. So don't let the muscles in your head overcome your intuitive sensibility to play this game. I'll hit a shot here just like I'll be on the course playing the game in a little while. My wife and I are going out for a wonderful morning of golf after this video. Can't wait to get out there and experience the beauty and splendor. Okay, let's give it a try. Pins on the right. I sense that. I square up to that, let my body come into alignment, and make my swing. Pulled it slightly to the left, might have got a little anxious, wanting to play. Freed up to play though. The swing felt very free, very flowing. It was a solid hit. A lot of ah responsive, responsiveness in that. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm playing golf. So please go out the next time and start to play the game rather than try to manipulate the result. You'll have a lot more fun. Let's go down and make a putt and a chip perhaps and see what's going on down there. Okay, I had a real good shot there as far as the feel of distance. I hit it the distance I wanted, pulled it as I said slightly to the left, and this green also rolls from right to left. Today the pin was on the far right side of the green, probably the toughest position on this green for the pin to be because of the slope of the green from right to left. So now I've got a challenging putt. So if I'm out on a day and I'm finishing, this is on the 18th hole here at Winding Hills, and I'm finishing a wonderful day on the course, I love that final challenge. It really allows, allows me to tap into all these concepts of power and exercise those final strokes to finish the record of a wonderful day on the golf course. So I'll set up, make this putt, see what happens, hopefully get down in two, and every once in a while you surprise yourself and the ball will go in the hole from quite a distance. So 
So we'll set up, go into a relaxation response. Never be uptight. Let that grip be nice and smooth and loose. And make your stroke. Remember, it's not a wristy stroke. It's from the shoulders back and through. Nice and smooth. Looks pretty good. It's actually right on the lip of the cup. Almost made that putt. My intent, however, was not to make the putt. My intent was to get it into a three-foot circle. Well, that was a good way to wrap up the day. I think we'll go have a soda or something, relax, and then go out for a wonderful 18 holes of golf. We'll see you again soon.